This, a passport, it's worthless. It's gonna be Santa. Hey! Apakaba Indonesia, Apakaba Pintapolitik.com, Namasai John Zachary, Saya Akan Verbachara Dalam Ingress, they get subtitle Ahasa Indonesia. So before we give this video, I have to give you a disclaimer. All the views and opinions presented in this video are my own personal views and in no way represent the views or opinions of Pintapolitik.com. Okay, that out of the way, what am I going to talk about today? Well, what I'm going to talk about today is the vaccine passport. Yes, I told you, it was coming, 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 and now it's here. I'm sure you don't believe me. Well, I'll give you proof. United Airlines and Cathay Pacific, with the backing and monitored by governments, are going to be having flights between London, New York, Hong Kong and Singapore under the government's supervision using the Common Pass app. What is the Common Pass app? Well, it's a digitally certified COVID-19 test that proves you are free from COVID-19 and you can travel. Later, that's going to be extended to improve you had the vaccine. There it is. You've had the vaccine and now you've got your digital pass, your digital passport, and you're allowed to travel. Without that, you won't get on a plane. So, in other words, this a passport is worthless. It's going to be Sampa. No good at all because this will now be your passport. And that is exactly what they've been after. This will be your passport. And it's gonna to tie to so many things. The Fed in America has just recently stopped printing money. Yeah, they've stopped printing money because pounds, dollars, rupiah, they're dirty things. Better everything be on a digital app again, on a banking app on an app that they can control and see every single thing you're doing. And maybe if you're a naughty boy or girl, they'll turn you off. And now you haven't got any cash to go to because cash is no longer a viable means of purchasing goods or services. Brave new world, great, isn't it? And Billy Boy Gates, yes, Billy Boy Genetic Waste Gates. I mean, this man's a eugenicist and talks about the overpopulation of the earth. Well, start with you, Billy Boy. Start with you, my friend. Why don't you just take yourself out of the picture because you're hardly a prime example of manhood, are you? Look at yourself. I mean, would you want to look like him and be him? He can keep his money. I wouldn't want to be Bill Gates. For all the money he has, he can keep it. Take it. And when you go to your grave, it's not coming with you, my friend. Then you will find out there is a God. But anyway, Billy Boy has said that the rich countries, rich countries will be able to return to normal in the end of 2021 if you take the vaccine. And there's nothing to see here. COVID-19, yes. The most deadly disease in the world, or perhaps not. Perhaps a disease which is exactly the same as a severe seasonal influenza. And by the way, we're entering a flu season in UK and the Western world. So I'm sure more COVID-19 figures are gonna pop up conflated with the actual seasonal flu figures. All this is going about is trying to push you into a digital gulag. That is what they're doing. Your freedoms are being eroded. Step by step, one by one, the dominoes are falling. And that digital passport, that common pass, that United Airlines and Cathay Pacific had agreed to do under government supervision. And by the way, the people who are taking part in it are volunteers. Volunteers, oh. They've been virtue signaling, they've been so good. They're signing their own prison certificate. That's what they're doing. 
and they don't even see it. They're, they're helping with the digital passport. Really great, sip. We all want a digital passport. Why just stamp something on our head? That's what it's coming to now. And speaking of tech billionaires, who we all know I love so much, uh, they're getting richer and richer, which I mentioned in my other video. Well, now it's come out that the top 12 billionaires in the US have a combined wealth of over one trillion. Can't do all the zeros, there's so many. 12, I believe. One trillion, yeah. Do you want to have an idea of how huge that sum is? That's the combined GDP, gross domestic product of Belgium and Austria. Combined European countries. They have the GDP of two European countries combined. These are 12 individuals, 12 tech billionaires. And speaking of tech billionaires, I keep on going on about it and I'm going to repeat it again. Why don't you, in Indonesia, you've got a lot of smart young people, there must be a lot of uh, entrepreneurs out there, create your own apps, reverse engineer, all this rubbish that's coming from America and do it yourself. What am I talking about? Well, Facebook number one, which now has 2.6 billion monthly regular users. 2.6 billion. Why don't you create an Indonesian Facebook? Forget his Facebook, Zuckerberg, another genetic waste, another eugenicist. Forget, forget Facebook. Start your own Facebook. I don't know what you can call it. You can call it Indobook if you want anything. Just get off of Facebook, close it down, shut it down, get rid of it. Get your own. Same for WhatsApp, which is owned by the lovely Mr. Zuckerberg. You have in the bottom of your WhatsApp, you have Facebook. Yeah, because he's letting you know that he bought it. Why don't you create your own messenger? Why don't you create your own WhatsApp? Create your own Facebook. This is what you need to do. Get off the American bandwagon. You don't need it. Create your own things. Leave them and all their censorship aside. And speaking of censorship, the Oscars came out with their rules to be eligible to win an Oscar in 2023. And it promotes, in their words, diversity. Or in my words, total boredom. And it's gonna basically stifle the creative process. So what are their guidelines? At least one of the lead actors or significant supporting actors is from an underrepresented racial or ethnic group. Asian, Hispanic, Latino, Black African American, Indigenous Native American, Alaskan Native, Middle Eastern, North African, Native Hawaiian or other Pacific Islander, other unrepresented race or ethnicity. Yes, you must put quotas on everything. Uh, I'm pretty sure that I'm not in the list, but hey, I'm not worried. What really kills the creativity though is the main storyline. The main storyline, theme or narrative of the film is centered on an underrepresented group, groups, plural. Women, racial or ethnic group, LGBTQ+, what is the Q+, someone please put their message and let me know what the Q+, is, totally baffled by that. People with cognitive or physical disabilities or who are deaf or hard of hearing. These are gonna make for some riveting films, aren't they? I want to see the film about where all the lead characters are hard of hearing. Something is coming. Yeah, what? What do you say? Yeah, what? Yeah, what? Ah. Oh, that's a wrap. I know someone's going to say there's already been films made about people who are hard of hearing and I feel great sympathy for those that are hard of hearing, but stipulating that it must be a theme, no. That's really going to kill the creative process and that's what films are all about. I feel very sorry for you that are from Generation Z because if you're from Generation Z, 
you probably haven't seen a decent film in your life. You probably haven't seen a decent comedy because in your lifetime, the Puritans have taken over. My surname's Zachary, so I'm fully on board with the Z's. I mean, if you want to see a decent comedy, go back to the 1990s, 1980s, 2000 maybe. Now they're just all virtue signaling in rubbish. And I'm sure you must be bored to tears with all this nonsense. Everything is about people having, mustn't hurt their feelings. Ooh, don't hurt their feelings. And safe spaces, you must hide in the safe space. Ooh, someone's been, been nasty, hurt my feelings. Safe space, safe space, where's the safe space? Just total nonsense. Hey, people hurt your feelings all the time. And by the way, you don't get a, a medal for participating in a sport. You get a medal if you win. All this stuff has just made people soft and spongy inside. They really have no backbone anymore. And I'm sure Generation Z, you want to fight back against this. I'm sure you like a bit of life, a bit of spontaneity. I'm sure you like freedom. And if you do like freedom, don't get on board with all this Netflix garbage. Look for real films, demand good films. And for Indonesians, again, why don't you create your own films? Forget all the Hollywood censorship and virtue signaling. I can watch a Hollywood film and I can almost guarantee you I can tell who is going to play what part before I've even seen the film. Because they're just so predictable. <laughs> Everything is messaging. Everything is trying to get you on board with their narrative, which is basically Marxism. That's what they're pushing. As I've said before, we had to get in good old Carl, didn't we? Oh, Mr. Jenko. I like him so much. So please have a look at this yourself. Discover these things for yourself. Investigate and demand better and create your own apps, create your own films. Stop going to Hollywood in America because they really are no good anymore. You need to throw them in the sample. This is me, John Zachary in Stanak UK. Please like, share on Instagram, Twitter, and on YouTube. And I look forward to seeing you again, Indonesia. Take care.